something that I'm always, always screaming about, you know, having inner monologues with myself when I'm talking to people, people that I train, people that I work with, whatever it may be. One thing that I always say to others is make sure you use me as a vessel with the experiences that I've went through, you know, losing my mother, watching her pass away in front of me. Something that I'm promoting is I don't want you to ever feel powerless. And that's something that changed within me once I had to go through that because for the longest I felt completely powerless. The fact that I couldn't do absolutely nothing. There was nothing in the world that I could do at that very moment. It didn't matter how much money I got. It didn't matter how how strong I was, how much this, how much that, you know, who it meant absolutely nothing. At that very moment or those moments it came to that realization like, oh, you're powerless. You know, you have you can't do anything. And what I don't want is people to feel they have to go through their whole life feeling powerless. I think that's something that a lot of people deal with and kind of accept a lot of times, whether it be through circumstances. You know, you may not have the most money. You may not where you're not where you want to be with your career. It can go on and on and on. But it's like you had to know all of these things that we are going through. All of these things that we are dealing with, all of this trauma, all of this the problems, and when you just feel like, okay, I don't know how I'm going to get through it, you have to tell yourself you can because it's getting you prepared for something greater. It's getting you prepared for the person that you want to be, that you truly say that you want to be. Life is going to throw you some of the most craziest hardships in the world, preparing you for who you are going to become preparing you for the person that you say you want to become do you think you can just go through life without not getting the lessons without going through the hardships and that's the way you're going to get taught it cannot be sweet we all know a person who's never been through anything you know everything's been handed to them and the slightest problem they go through they just throw their hands up and lose it we all know that type we all know that person but that's not going to be you. That's not going to be me. I said to myself, I wanted to be the person that I needed when I was younger. I wanted to be a raw individual that was focused, that was rich mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. And the universe was like, all right, do you want to be that person? You think you're ready? I'm going to throw you the baddest hand on the planet. I'm going to throw you so many issues your way. One of the biggest ones was, yeah, losing my mother, watching her pass in front of me. That was a big one. That was humongous. That was the biggest fear that I could ever think, that I ever thought would happen to me. And it did happen. And at that moment, I felt like, oh, there's no way. How can I? Come on. How am I ever going to really, really get through this and cope and be able to move on. I thought it was impossible. I, I felt powerless. So I had to really dig deep. I had to really dig deep and say, okay, you need to change your perspective now. You need to treasure the moments that you did have. Now you need to represent, now you need to truly become that person that she wanted you to be, that she know that she raised you to be. And you need to make sure you carry on her name by making sure you turn into that raw individual and turning into that person that you wanted to be. Because now you're representing yourself, you're representing her. And I had to dig so deep. I mean, when I say I had to dig deep to find the strength to say, okay, I'm gonna use this as fuel to never, never, never feel powerless to never ever think that time is just going to be here forever and i need to make sure that anyone that watches this video anyone that will listen anyone that's willing to receive this information they have to understand that too and that's what i did and i did that I continue to do i continue to do and i scream and i scream as much as i can when i have your attention now you're going to really listen to what i have to say and turn into a razor sharp disciplined individual that despite how big the problems are, because you're going to get the problems. You are going to get problems in your life. That's one thing that, let me tell you right now, that's the perspective change that you need to have. Don't ever say, I want things to get easier. You want to get stronger so you can handle it. You can handle more. You can 
take on more and you can become better become stronger your mind becomes bulletproof and you show how strong you are internally and externally you show you're a disciplinarian internally and, ex and externally because the, the lessons are coming the lessons are going to be hard and they're going to continue to get harder I know in my head who I wanted to become who I want to be what I'm striving for and if I truly want those things I want those things and you want those things you we all know we know we hear that voice we hear that voice of who we want to become and where we want to be we and we know we hear it about the steps that we need to take to get there and I said to myself if I am going to be this person I have to be willing to accept the problems that come with it and the tests that come with it because they're all tests they're all tests to really see how much you can really endure how dangerous are you going to become and I failed a lot of them and I wasn't ready I wasn't ready to become that person and guess what life's gonna put you right back in your ass okay you're gonna have to get another lesson and another lesson until you finally wake the hell up and I got hit with the biggest lesson and now I'm telling you anyone who's who's watching this anyone who comes across these videos anyone that I meet in person anyone that I don't allow don't wait until the problems are so big and then you finally decide to change you finally decide to become that person you start right now you start developing and building up that character and building up yourself so when it does come when those tests come you're ready don't wait until it is just back against the wall everything is just and then now finally you're gonna say okay maybe I should work on a few things no you start now you start every day every day you continue to get better every day you work on yourself every day you continue to grow every day you challenge yourself every day you get uncomfortable every day you make you never stay comfortable every day you wake up and say okay I need to endure I need to I need it to be hard I need to make the situation hard so when that unexpected challenge comes I'm ready you're not waiting for the problems to, to happen then you're gonna say to yourself okay let, let me shape up no that's why I say hey get up early go to bed early do your studying you wanna be entrepreneur you wanna be you have your own business okay you get off at night it's a nine to five job you got right now I guess you'll be working from six to ten six to eleven I guess you'll be getting up early 430 in the morning with me working on your business until it's time for you to go to work at nine whatever it is that you will not stay comfortable and stay complacent and feel I can't do anything and I hope I hope it reaches just one person and I'm gonna to continue to scream it every video every video every video let's go